All right, let's talk about Photoshop's latest new feature, Super Resolution, which promises to double the resolution of your images. So we'll come back to this image that's on the screen at the moment. Um, but first, I'm just going to open a raw file uh, to show you how to actually access this new feature. So whether you go via the file open menu in Photoshop or you can just right click on a raw file and choose open with Photoshop, um, that's going to open the image into Adobe Camera Raw. I don't use Bridge, I've never used it. I think you can do that directly from Bridge. Um, in Lightroom, I believe this feature is coming to Lightroom natively eventually, but it's just not there yet. Um, so for now, we're just left with uh, opening raw files directly into Photoshop. So when that loads here, we have the uh, familiar Camera Raw um, interface. Now, the way that we're going to access this new super resolution feature is to simply right click on the image, click Enhance, and I've already checked it. Uh, this little checkbox on a previous run through or you know, previous tests. Um, I believe if you if it's the first time you use it, you probably have to just check that box there. Um, but yeah, you literally don't have to do anything else. Um, so it says here five minutes estimated completion time. I found it's a lot quicker than that, probably about a minute for me on my computer. Uh, so let's just click enhance. And what that's going to do is create a second version of this file and essentially make it twice as wide and twice as tall. And it's going to use machine learning to apparently increase the resolution of the file uh, in a more sophisticated way than just literally um, you know, resizing it. Okay, so that was actually a lot quicker. It was probably more like 30 seconds. Uh, so you can see here now we've got this second image in the film strip down here. So what this is, if you look up here at the file name, it's uh, it's a DNG file. So it's going to create a DNG file that is twice the resolution of the original. So here is the raw file. Not sure why it's moving it over there. Here's the DNG file. Now it's pretty difficult to actually line these up because the view kind of resets itself every time you switch between the two. So it's not easy to compare to see the difference in quality um, between these two. Uh, so I'm going to open them both into Photoshop in just a second. But first, this uh, the first tip that I actually wanted to, to let you know about, and this is the first thing that kind of messed me up a little bit, was, um, okay, let's zoom right in. Uh, so <clears throat> let's go 100%. So the first time I used this, I zoomed in and I thought, okay, this looks really weird. It looks <laughs> like over sharpened. Um, I didn't think, well, I wasn't ho holding out much hope for this new feature. Um, but then after a little while of just sort of fiddling around in Photoshop, uh, the, uh, the obvious answer dawned on me. And that was that Adobe Camera Raw by default has set the sharpening value to 40. Now, on the original raw file, that default value of 40 actually does a pretty good job of um, dealing with any uh, natural softness from the raw file. But when, we, uh, when we're talking about this big version here, I'm, I'm not sure, I don't think it takes into account the uh, any adjustments that have been made to the raw file. I think it's just increasing the size of the raw file um, so I don't think it's like doubling the sharpening but either way this amount of sharpening is just way too much at this stage for this large resolution version of the image so to compare the two I'm just going to remove the sharpening from both and over here so now when I select both of these hold shift and then click open uh, when we compare the two images in Photoshop next, there's going to have no sharpening applied. So here we are with both images, this raw file and the, uh, the DNG file, the double resolution file. Now, I can see here, I'm not sure if you're going to see on the video, uh, there's a bit of a difference already just in the apparent sharpness of the uh, of the image when I look at the uh, DNG file. Uh, but to make a true comparison of how good a job the uh, the super resolution has done, I'm actually going to zoom 
the raw file. Well, actually, no, let's go to the DNG file. I'm going to zoom the DNG file into 100% without moving anything on the screen. And the raw file, I'm going to go to 200%, and that should basically have everything still lined up between the two images when I toggle between the raw file here and the uh, the super resolution version. So if you're watching this on a mobile, I'm not sure if you're going to appreciate the difference, but if you're on, um, on a computer and you can switch the video resolution to 4K or as high as possible, then I think you're going to see the difference here. So this is the original raw file just zoomed into 200%. And this is the super resolution version at 100%. So just comparing these two versions, I'm you know, pretty impressed at the level of detail. Um, there's apparently been you know, just uh, clawed out of nowhere uh, by, this, uh, by this process. So anyway, just a quick comparison. Actually, let's have a look. I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom of the image because this grass is a really interesting area. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to line it up exactly uh, this time, but yeah, if you look at here, this is the uh, the original image zoomed into 200%. Uh, the, the grass here is, you know, pretty kind of blurred, pretty wavy. And here, I mean, there's just so much more definition. I would definitely call that an increase in quality um, well let's let's actually zoom this back to 100% and this back to 50% and yeah you, you sort of you get the same thing um, the raw file this this grass does look a lot softer even at 100% so we're not zooming in and enlarging any pixels here on this view uh, but here with the uh, super res version there's definitely a lot more clarity and definition in that grass so whatever it's doing i mean it's doing something uh pretty good and i think this is going to be a good benefit for creating images that you want to print large now one other tip that i have heard um on another video uh, but i just want to sort of make sure that you uh, are aware of it and that is to apply the super resolution as early as possible i.e on the raw file you're probably not going to get as good a result using this on a finished image that you've edited uh, because any artifacts at all that have been introduced into the image via editing, they're going to be um, kind of exacerbated really. And I believe uh, when testing this myself, I tried opening a TIFF file in Adobe Camera Raw and there was a message that popped up and said something about part of the process isn't going to work the same because it's not a raw file that we're using. Um, so yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. Now, with that said, um, if you have another file type that's not a raw file that you want to uh, use this uh, super resolution version uh, functionality with, then you can actually open any kind of format, uh, any kind of file format in Adobe Camera Raw. So let's uh, just run through that now looking at a JPEG example. So let's go file, open. And I've got this JPEG here, which I've basically, uh, it's that previous image that you saw right at the top of the video, which I've uh, reduced in size by half. Now what you need to do when you click on the file to open it, you come down to uh, this format drop down here and choose camera raw. If you don't do that, it's just gonna open the JPEG into Photoshop. But by doing this, it's gonna open it into the ACR plugin. So here we are, this is the uh, the JPEG, or well, this is a JPEG image opened into um, ACR. So let's do that super resolution thing now. So let's go enhance, wait for it to do its business. So I don't need the preview to, to appear, I'll just click enhance now. And when that finishes uh, processing, we'll, we'll get that next version down here as well. Okay, so there we go. Now I'm gonna click on that and yeah, it looks like because it's not a raw file, it hasn't applied that sharpening. So again, let's get these open into Photoshop. So this is the JPEG 
at half size and here's the doubled JPEG, double, the, the super resolution JPEG of the half size version of this image which actually brings it back to the full size which brings me on to another test I'm going to show you in just a second but here let's go 200% oh, that's three uh, let's go 200% zoom on the actual original JPEG and now the enhanced DNG so I'm just looking at the detail I mean there's definitely some difference in the detail in uh, in the foreground here so this is the the half size JPEG, this is the super resolution version. So it appears to have made a lot more, um, yeah, there's a lot more definition in that foreground. I think generally it just seems sharper than, you know, if we'd have just increased the size of the image via the image resize function of Photoshop. Uh, so yeah, that's just another example. Now, let me just close this one and this one. So here is the original um, finished. So this is a processed image, um, that I've, a finished processed image uh, at full resolution. That's why it's a TIFF file. Now let's compare this, um, yeah, the enhanced JPEG. So I had half the size of the finished image and then, uh, and then I've uh, doubled it again using the super resolution. So let's see the difference between the original TIFF at 100% versus the enhanced uh, super resolution JPEG. If, I mean, it's definitely sharper. I wonder whether just the texture of this foreground um, makes it well, I just wonder whether that's kind of affecting or making it look worse than it is because it probably does look over sharpened in the foreground here. Uh, but if we just look up here in the left hand side uh, at these cliffs, the original TIFF, which has been sharpened, this is like a finished sharpened image. Um, the the uh, halved yeah, the super resolution version actually does bring back more sharpness into that cliff side. So again, if you're watching this on 4K on a big monitor, you'll probably see the difference there. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm not sure really what to do with this information right now, uh, but it's just uh, just a test that I wanted to run to see what it would do. I mean, it doesn't. It definitely doesn't seem like it's lost really any image quality as such. It's definitely not, not lost any sharpness by halving the size and then doubling it again. Uh, but that doubling process definitely has added sharpness into it, uh, yeah, added more sharpness into the picture. So um, yeah, make of that what you will. Uh, this, you know, I, I would recommend or encourage you to, uh, to run some tests and just play with this yourself and try halving some images and then uh, you know, doubling them again to compare them back to the original. Um, now, just one final thing before I sign this video off. If you're using Lightroom, um, again, you're very possibly aware of this already. If you're using Lightroom, like I said, it's not um, currently available directly from Lightroom. So what you have to do, if you want to, if you've got your image catalog in Lightroom like I do, um, well, let's wait for this to load and then we'll come back. Okay, yeah, so like I said, if I, I would assume that there will be an option here, unless I'm just being completely blind, I can't see it. So yeah, I would assume, or well, maybe let's check in the develop module just in case before I commit any lies to the internet. <laughs> okay, enhanced details. I don't think that's the same thing. I think that's an old feature, this enhanced details. So yeah, if, you're, if you've got an image in Lightroom that you want to use this super resolution function on, what you're going to have to do is right click on the image and choose show in finder. This is on a Mac. I guess it will say Explorer, Windows Explorer, something like that on, on Windows. So just show in finder and then just right click and open that raw file with Photoshop like that. And then it will basically 
take you back to the first thing that uh, I was showing you at the start of this video. So that pretty much covers everything I wanted to say in this video. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this new super resolution function in the comments and I'll talk to you soon.